Nice little fun finder just came in here on trade at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, roughly about an 18, 19 foot box, very small, lightweight, easily towable. Uh, as far as we know, the uh, previous owners were the second owners, they were not the original owners. Um, it was their first camping experience and they were very happy with their fun finder for good reason, it's in great shape. Uh, but they just, they really enjoyed camping and wanted to go larger so they swapped this out for a 25 foot rockwood here at Halitz with a bigger slide and pleased as punch. A lot of nice things going on here, you see that this has the uh, um, slide out awning cover. That's going to do a lot to keep a lot of the dirt and debris from building up on your slide. And you can see all the links they went to seal this slide anyway. They have overlapping seals to make sure everything's in good shape. And all the seals look like they're in good shape. Um, it looks like it's definitely been properly maintained. The, um, one of the nice things on these is the uh, solidarity in their construction. A lot of lightweight manufacturers don't laminate slide out sidewalls, but the fact that these are tells you two things. It's A, insulated, and B, it's uh, stronger, more structural. This RV is more likely to hold its shape over time because all the sides of this trailer are laminated, not just the side walls, the rear wall, the slide outs, the front wall, even the roof. I apologize if it's windy. I don't use fancy camera equipment. Um, I just use a cheap $89 thing off the shelf from the local big box store and it gets the job done. By the way, in case you're curious, no, I have no idea what this is. I have no clue. I've had three people say, well, Josh, you're smart. Uh, I'm not that smart, apparently. And someone's going to look at it and be like, oh, it's a bike rack or a towel holder. I don't know what it is. Um, I do like to point out, too, this has about the biggest awning you can fit on this little camper. And a little camper like this is often uh, inclined to wiggle. It, it's inclined for the, uh, the tail to wag the dog going down the road. So you see here aluminum wheels, which has nothing to do with sway. It just looks sharp. But... It's a tandem. Tandems are less likely to wiggle, and they helped fight everything by putting a nice trail air suspension on here, an Equiflex suspension. That's something you usually don't see until you get to some nicer rigs. And I do like to point out that uh, under the wheel wells here, you see that you have a galvanized steel shell. God forbid you have a blowout, and this tire just lets loose. That at least gives your interior a chance to be protected from a, a flying, you know, radial belted tire, which these ride on. Um, you know, they, uh, a lot of manufacturers don't put that stuff in there because they only use bias ply tires. Bias ply tires, long story short, are not strong enough to really do any damage to your trailer if it cuts loose. Um, so right here we're looking at the slide right when you walk in. You see that there's a spot there for, uh, you know, dinette post. Apologize for the snow I've tracked through this thing here, getting it ready for you. This sofa will fold down into a sleeper if need be. And I love the coziness and the little residential accoutrements that go with this. Like the little corner cabinets overlooking this big window. It's just sharp, angular, nice look to it. Um, I like little power outlets next to your bed or your primary sitting areas like this sofa here to keep your phones charged and whatnot. And I give you the perfect shelf back here to set a drink. You can just sit down on the sofa, have a drink on hand. You can chat with the folks over here. Uh, now this overhead bunk, what's interesting about that is it converts. Uh, if you need a bunk for the grandkids, obviously it's here. If you don't need it, however, this folds up and latches out of the way and it creates an extra cabinet above your bed. So you have both a single bed with storage or you have a bunkhouse whenever you need it. Notice that up here in your bed space, uh, around your queen bed, you do have uh, windows that will ventilate on both sides of the bed. Also, uh, I have it shut because of the weather right now, but this does have a front window, so you can get good airflow up here, and that front window doesn't open, but it will allow for a lot of light in here. Now, uh, as a nice contrast to the all-white cabinetry, you see a stainless steel appliance package, and it just looks so sharp. It's very modern looking, very cool. Um, all in all, I mean, one thing I do like to point out, your cabinets are all one piece. There's no corner seams in here, so this cabinet can just absolutely be beaten upon and it's not going to you're not going to have seams that split and fall apart um anytime i see owner's manuals i always get excited because that tells me these folks really kept good track of their rv remember that with two previous owners at least that means that multiple people have really done a good job keeping track of this thing uh you know your roof uh, ac up here they could go with a smaller ac on this size unit but they went with the same 13,500 btu air that's on a lot of big travel trailers it, it'll be like an ice box in here if you want to. And uh, because this is all laminated, even the roof, it is going to keep that cold air in here when you want it. 
Uh, the TV and uh, entertainment center up here. Uh, this swings around. It's on a swing arm, so it can easily face the sofa if need be. This is a, uh, your CD player. This is a DVD, uh, inside outside speakers. Pretty much does everything, even has an auxiliary input here. So if you want to take a phone or an MP3 player, set it right there, plug it in, enjoy whatever music you want. Now, storage in little campers is always really tough. And that's why I always start snooping around and I loved what I found in here. Not only does this have lots of shelves, you have extra shelves you see, but these are all adjustable, removable. You can build this thing however you want for whatever storage you want. So if you need tall space, short space, any space, you've got it. And you actually have either a wardrobe or a coat closet right in the door, right when you walk in. I can't stand RVs that don't give you a coat closet when you walk in the door. I do also really appreciate they used an actual raised panel residential door for the bathroom here. It's a really nice touch I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, the bathroom is small, but adequate. A lot of small trailers like this will not give you a sink and a, uh, a, a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. You see that they did do that here. So they did go that extra mile. I was very impressed by that. All in all, nice little camper. If you're just looking for something small for casual use, um, or if you're, you know, first timers and you don't want to go all in right away, that's exactly what these folks did. They took this one out for a little while, enjoyed it for a couple years, then swapped her out for something bigger. And because it's an 08, you're not going to have, you know, you're, you're not going to just lose your pants when it comes to trade in or depreciation time. It's gone through the bulk of its depreciation cycle. That's not a concern anymore. When you look at something this old, you just need to say, is it in good shape? And this one definitely is. But don't take my word for it. Call us or stop by. And, you know, form your own opinion of it. That's what I encourage folks to do. It's your money. Make sure you spend it the way you want to. 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, folks. Happy camping.